So first up, we're going to be talking a little bit about video games. Now, H Streets, who's a member of our community, asked, What are our expectations for Marvel's Avengers, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and the rumored Guardians games, and future Marvel games? So I guess we'll start with Marvel's Avengers. Um, you know, the jury's still out for that because... They have yet to just give us 30 minutes of straight gameplay of a full level. That's not that like opening. To I need to see what am I doing for 30 minutes when I sit down and boot this game up. Yeah, like that's what I need to see. You yeah, know? It, that's 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 basis for what everyone. But like I know Miss could agree if, from from what they're going for. It's mostly just you know grinding the same kind of anim enemies, well, which and, is fine. I was gonna say it's, it's yeah. very much sat, like sounds like those um. Like live service games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, I don't know, you know if it is a live service game or not. They haven't said it, but from what they're from what they're implying, it is because <laughs> basically the um, the microtransactions, which is mostly, I, I'm not sure if it is, um, you know, consumables, but from uh, was it costume packs and all so that. I imagine it'd be like cosmetics and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna it's gonna fuel the free well, DLC characters every, and extra levels and stuff. Every time they're asked about the games as a service or that, they they beat around it by saying yeah. no, but sort of in their wording. So it's interesting because games as a service gets bad rep because it's like, oh, you're paying to win, but not really. Like because uh, like I, as I've talked about, it, I play Call of Duty extensively now, mm -hmm. um, and you can buy guns in the store, but you buy a gun and it just gives you like a different skin for example like there's like oh this one is themed around like unicorns unicorns and you get these cool skins and a few attachments and like things you can attach to your guns but it doesn't actually improve the gun at all it's still still the same gun you can like you know just make the look of it different so i think that's kind of what they're gonna do you know it's, yeah it, it's that's where people want want it to go because from what they from like close betas and from what you can see at cons like assumables are what you can uh use to make new new gear and better gear mm -hmm. and if that if that is in the microtransactions uh portion then people if they don't want to wait they can spend what like sixty dollars to get all the all the um, consumables that they need to actually make the better gear, then instead of like someone grinding yeah. you know, like five hours on a difficult area for a boss for that one good drop. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, like I said, I mean, what, who even knows when we're gonna get a look at that game next? Because I know E3 was gonna be a big blowout because it's prior yeah. to release. Uh, but mm -hmm. <laughs> um, most most likely, if they do have something good to show. It would be around that around that time during during the summer because yeah. yeah, when did they push the release date back to? It's like September. September, yeah. September, right? It's like yeah, right so. after my birthday, so I'm like, well, well okay, I'm set. You know. So yeah, like the summertime is the only time that they could actually make a push for mm -hmm. PR for that game because like, any any sooner, you're not people are not really gonna want to play it. Exactly. You know, it's like they got and they got to give it to the press, and the press has got to put out their like. Oh, we were invited here for three to five hours, and here's raw capture that we did, and here's what we think. Like you know, they do it with pretty much all the big games coming out. Yeah, so you know, like we got you know exclusive footage for the next yeah. week of you know doing whatever they like exactly. us to do. Here's yeah. the breakdown of gear and which Avengers you can be and what you can do and how Cap you know plays and here's how Iron Man plays. So like when we see that, we'll you know obviously talk more about it. On the other side of that. Marvel Spider-Man 2. Um, I mean, it's safe to say it's probably coming next year. I would assume. I don't think it's launching with the system. Like I, I would have said it is. See, the only reason I don't think it is is because I think they're gonna push Marvel Spider-Man, like the re, kind of like the upgraded edition that Cerny talked about with fast load times and better textures. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. I think yeah. that's what's being pushed, and it's like, hey, look. The sequel's like, coming. Set, like, I, I know the first ones like shifted like millions of like. Oh god, yeah. But is that is that enough to shift a PlayStation Five? Uh, because I, I, I'm, I'm not going to buy a new console to play an old game, no. Right. Well, it, I it, it, it really just depends on on like what they do with it. If it mm. if the enhancements justify you need to get you know a PlayStation Five just to get that so, new experience. It's like, if it's backwards compatible, right? What's yeah. the point? 
Because then you, you you've got the game anyway. I know it's just how 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 they implement. I honestly can, think... they either have like a free update or whatever. Yeah, like from what Cerny said, like the top hundred games. So let's clarify this because they Sony had to came out and clarify themselves because it was so stupidly worded. Ma majority of the four thousand PS4 games will all be backwards compatible. The hundred Cerny mentions they are going in and retouching them. So like Bloodborne, for example will now run at 60 frames a second, 4K. Spider-Man will have the new improvements he talked about, instant load times and things like that. So that's the top 100. Um, I'm going to assume that like, they don't re-release Spider-Man, but it's like, hey, if you have it, check out what we've fixed. And here's how I would do it. Do what some of the current games are doing. Like I think it's um the Xenoblade that's re-releasing on Switch, which is a remaster of the original. They're adding a whole new chapter to the game for people that are going to buy it, which is adding, I think they said, like, 8 to 10 hours of content. That's Why not make yeah, a little, yeah. add an epilogue yeah. to Spider-Man for yeah, free? Yeah, yeah, it was an like 8 to 10 hour epilogue, so. Yeah, but, I, that's what I can see. Is, like, is that enough to truly sell the system? Possibly. Um, to the hardcore? Yeah, To the hardcore, but... yes, but, like, the everyday person being like, do I really want to buy a PlayStation 5 just for 10 more hours or I'll wait scream. a year? Right. <laughs> yeah. Wait a year, have both the 10 new hours and a new game. And that's the thing. I think when they announce the PlayStation 5 formula and when they show off, when they, the moment they show off Horizon 2, God of War, whatever it's called, and the new Spider-Man, you know it's coming, so you're locked in if you like the, pre the previous ones, right? Yeah. So I think it's like kind of like in between there um i mean i'm super hyped like i will replay the ps5 version guaranteed yeah. because it's gonna have enhancements so yeah. yeah i'm done with that game well i mean yeah absolutely done <laughs> it, it does get a little tedious and so you know some I, I haven't even finished the dlc and i'm like yeah i've got no oh that, that dlc dude, oh <laughs> that should have stayed in it was oh oh bad like, once like you realize that. that the game's combat is broken, no, it's like, it's no fun in this game anymore. No. <laughs> uh, it is it is what it is. Um, I don't know. Like, like, is, isn't that what it's supposed to be, where some people find out that you can break the game in multiple ways? Because I've seen it in multiple games, where you, like, mm. if you want like the most optimal uh, gameplay mechanics, it's basically trying to break the game to your advantage. Yeah, but the problem is that the, it's not fun in Spider-Man. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Everyone in games are like wants to like you know, get the optimal setup and load that. But in Spider Man, it's just like this is every Spider Man game ever, and I've done this a thousand times before. Yeah, that is kind of true. Yeah. The, the, this just happens to be the best Spider Man game, though. So it's like it's yeah. the best story. I would say it's the best Spider Man game. Uh, don't it's say, the same as everything else. So I can't. Uh, I was gonna say, don't, don't say Spider Man, Man 2. Two because that has not <laughs> aged well. No, trust no, me. What I was saying was, well, it's the same as everything else. Like. It's, Gameplay wise and combat wise, yeah, I, I can't rank anything because they literally are just the same. There's I mean, nothing new in this one, no. other than the story, yeah, and yeah, you know, it, it's, and even then the story is screwball. You know. I mean, it, it's the it's a mashup of everything that worked in previous Spider-Man games, but they took it to a good level. Like, hey, a good open world, okay, hey, hey a good story, okay. So like they added it all together and it kind of clicks together. So. Even then, the open world is just as good as the other ones because it's literally. I, I know it's Spider Man, and Spider Man's in New York. Yeah. It's, like, it's literally just New York again. Like, yeah. But... Yeah. It feels a little more living and breathing, but that's, of course, part of the I mean, system. That is true. You know, it's, it's true. So, yeah, it's an evolution. But um, after that, let's talk about other. So, thank you for taking the time to watch that video. If you guys would like more content that we offer here for channel members, which you guys can check out in the little joint button down below, we do offer additional content, such as exclusive podcasts and topic discussions, our gaming podcast, Star Wars TV series reviews, Marvel show reviews, DC Universe, and CW reviews. We offer personal vlogs, backlog reviews of TV shows and movies video game topics, and Q&As. And of course, in one of our best tiers, we offer audio commentaries on TV shows and movies, along with a bunch of other stuff you guys can check out just by clicking that join button and seeing what is on offer.